Hi, my name is Jared Sloan with the Insight Group at Alight Analytics. And today we are going to be talking about the differences between aggregated calculations and non-aggregated calculations in Tableau desktop software. So, just got a couple slides to kind of talk through the process. Um, and the example that we're going to be talking through is website pages per session. So how many pages does a user look at on your, on your website during their session? And there's two different ways we could write this calculation in Tableau. We could write it wrapped in a sum of each, each of the metrics wrapped in a sum, or we could write it uh, each of the metrics by themselves. Uh, but this is going to return very different information, so we want to make sure that we understand what Tableau is doing on the back end and what order it's happening in. So by default, if we're looking at one row, just January 1st, one date, these calculations will do exactly the same thing because whether it's an aggregated calculation or a non-aggregated calculation, it's only one row of data, so therefore Tableau treats it exactly the same. And for this example, we have 20 page views, 10 sessions, so both calculate to two pages per session. Tableau would treat these calculations the exact same. So first we're going to look at the non-aggregated way and kind of decipher what's happening, but we're going to look at it with a little bit more data, two rows of data. So we would write the calculation page, page views over sessions, and the way the Tableau would interpret this is it would take each row uh, and it would divide pages by the number of sessions and get a calculation for those two numbers in a row. Then it would take that, um, that result and add it together. So it's really just an order, orders, order of operations that we have to be in considerate of. So 2 plus 5 equals 7 uh, in this non-aggregated calculation. Now let's take a look at what changes when we aggregate um, the calculation first. So now we have sum of page views divided by the sum of sessions. And we can see that Tableau now is going to take the total page views for all the data that we have, the total uh, sessions for all the data that we have. It's going to do that calculation first, and then it is going to take the sum of, those, bo of both of those fields and divide uh, sessions, page views by sessions. So this result, we get three, which is our accurate representation of how many pages uh, were looked at by viewers during a session. Um, so you can see that the, the difference is pretty broad that we see from three to seven. So be sure to use, for this particular example, uh, to use an aggregated calculation when performing average page use per session. That's it. Be sure to check out our other videos on YouTube, and thanks for watching.